The bloody hell? What on earth is this? Entry number one. This is it. Turn to do what the king uh, has asked me to do. I'll create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. What is she doing? Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be reactivated artificially. Soul power can only be de derived from what was once living. So to create more, we have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster will require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Determination. Alphys was able to extract determination from human souls? Is she experimenting on the other six? Oh my god. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it out at all. Elevator, lost power, enter the center door. That's all you can read. Power room. Hmm. Buy chips for 25 G's? Yes. Did I get the chips? And potato chips. Alright. Entry number six. As I got asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. The bodies came in today. This they're, they're still comatose. And soon, they'll all turn to dust. Well, what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then... Freedom might be closer than we all thought. Alphys, why? Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust. So I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? You turn on the sink. You turn off the sink, alright. It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. No. Oh. The hell is this? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it out at all. Drain. Dropped it. Oh. It's some kind of switch. There's a red colored slot in the center. So someone's dropped something down the... What? What the hell is that? Cell? You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Well, I would rather no Oh my god. Memory head. Join? <laughs> You'll be with us shortly. Come join the fun. Well, this is really freaking weird. What? Refuse. They're gone. What? <laughs> Seems like it doesn't care anymore. <laughs> 
There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it on your keychain. What the bloody hell was that? <laughs> Click. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. What the hell did that do? Can I do it again? The red switch has been turned on. Oh, it's probably for the door outside. Okay. I've already read this one. True Laboratory. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I just keep injecting everything but determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Oh lord, is it gonna be in here? It's an empty dog food bowl. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all waking up around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls in the vessel back to Asgore. And I called all the families and told them everyone's alive. <coughs> I'll send everyone back tomorrow, smiley face. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. What the bloody hell happened? What on earth is that? Oh, you're funny. Lemon... Lemon bread. Alright. Hum. You hum a familiar tune. Lemon bread's body shakes. Welcome to my special hell. What the bloody hell? Well, that wasn't very fun. I'm gonna have to eat a bisticle. Stay here with me. I'd rather not... Oh, get up there. <sighs> Call. You called for help, but nobody came. But nobody came. Ah, 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 ah. Alright. That's just unfair, that is. Scream. You screamed out, but nobody came. But nobody came. Yes, 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 yes. You're hilarious. <sighs> but nobody came. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, damn it. I keep, I keep running into one of them. It's bloody annoying. Unhug. Do you think I'm pretty? Yes. Polex. I'm gonna die to him. Um. But nobody came. Oh my god, I hate this one. There we go. Okay. Flex. You flex your arm. Lemon bread seems to remember something. I've felt this before. Oh god, I don't see it. Wait, could this be goodbye? I don't like that at all. <laughs> DT extraction machine status. Oh, determination extraction machine status inactive. Well, first off, I'm going to go back and save because my health is nearly all gone. I'm legitimately curious about what the hell is happening. Alright. 
All right, let's look in here. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in specific order. Will you watch one? Tape one. Is that Toriel? Psst, Gory, wake up. Oh, Asgore. What is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Sure, sure, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest. What is my favorite vegetable? Um, carrots, right. No, 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 my favorite vegetable is... Edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm, I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be... a Momoranian. Oh, <laughs> you sure are excited to have this child. You know... If you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous momedian. Well, I'm going to bed. <laughs> oh, hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. Uh, I know. I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Yeah, so we're going to watch all of them. What? Me, Gatti. Uh, uh, do I have amnesia? What is going on? Okay, Gatti, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah. <laughs> oh, wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not going to do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> uh, uh, who was that? It was the same voice that I heard when we, when we fell down the thing. Tape 3. Howdy, Gaddy. Smile for the camera. <laughs> this time I got you. Left the cap on, on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> What? Oh yeah, I remember. What we try when we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in buttercups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mum really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um. Anyway, where are you go? Where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera. Okay. What was I doing? I... I don't like this idea, Gaddy. What? No, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I, I'd never doubt you, Gaddy. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Gatti, can you hear me? I want you to wake up. Gatti, you have to stay determined. It was him! It was Asgore! Every time we got a game over, it was Asgore! But it was him talking to us in the past! You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. P Gatti, please wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I... No, no, I said. I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? That was... The child that fell down that Azriel made friends with was me. Am I even Gaddy? 
Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. Too bad they had the lens cap on the whole thing. There's none on the ground. Can't make it out. Under sheets. Sheets? There are a bunch of VHSs. Seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. There are a bunch of VHSs. See, so, uh, cartoons. They seems to be alphabetized, save for a few stray. Sticky ones? Gross. <laughs> some kind of switch. That's a yellow colored. Okay, we gotta go find um a yellow colored key. That is under sheets. But I can't see shite in here. Huh. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it out. At all. Curtain. What curtain, mate? I just want to know how the bloody hell I can get out of here. It's too dark to see near the walls. I guess I gotta shut something off. <sighs> it's getting too late for this crap. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell is that? It's like something out of a hentai. Hi. Give me the key, please. And don't try and kill me. Well, that was nice of them. Why do I get the feeling I think it's gonna come back? Doobie-dabba-doo-ba-boo-da-ba. Ah, what the friendship? Here we go. Click. The green key fits perfectly into the slot. Now what happens? Well, nothing apparently. <laughs> I guess we gotta find something else to find, like, what the hell? Or maybe there isn't even anything in there. You thought about that? What the hell's this way, anyway? Actually, let's save real quick. Hooray! Oh. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. That's weird. Also, what the hell's going on there? There's a switch on the wall. Press it? Yes, it'll activate the fans. And then we'll get a boss encounter, probably. Yeah, there you go. How you doing? Oh, it's like a dog. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, hi, how you doing? It's the... Amalgamate. Can it be- can I be its mate? Beckon. You called the Amalgamate. It bounds towards you. Flicking a strange liquid from its orifice. Oh god, what the bloody hell? Pet. You pet the Amalgamate. It convulses rapidly. Then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Z z z. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly onto the balls. It's like the bloody super dog or whatever at the start of the game. Oh god, I'd rather you not. Beckon.
And this music isn't exactly the most... Gosh. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. Mega brings it back to you. Proudly? You repeat this process a few times. Oh my god, he's very tired. He leans and stripping him off his head on you. You get away from me. Get an owl. I should probably eat something. There you go. Oh, I really wish you'd stop making that noise, mate. Like, for real. Uh, it starts to generate a strange eye of happiness forth. Stop vibrating, please. It's making me very uncomfortable. Pet it again. Oh my god. <laughs> the dog's at the bottom. I only just noticed. Well, that was really weird. <laughs> Have I watched this? Oh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> now, will the clouds in the other room have gone away by now? I have to check. That's such a weird... It looks like Flowey in his Omega form. Entry number 19. The families keep calling to ask me when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. What did you do, Alphys? Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. What about this cute teacup he found that looks like me? Thanks, Asgore. Entry number 21. I've spent all my time at the garbage dump now. Spent. It's my element. That's weird. Also, why the hell is this thing, like, moving around? It's a refrigerator. It's empty. But it's also moving quite a lot. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Well, I don't understand why it's moving a bunch. Shit. I think... I solved the puzzle in here. I think I solved the puzzle in here before I was supposed to, but you know what, that's fine. So what do I need left? I need yellow and something else. Blue, maybe? Golden flowers. Like, bloody flowery. Entry number seven. We need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human can absorb cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Azrael absorbed my soul, apparently. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a house to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Golden flowers. Was Flowey... Uh... Created by Alphys? Also, something is going to appear in these mirrors. I just bloody well know it. What'd I tell ya? Oh, it's my bloody thing. Well, you're beautiful. <laughs> Let's play. You kneel and pray for- or pray. Uh, for safety. Remembers it's coincidence. Oh, afraid of... What? That's really bloody weird. Hum. You hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. Oh, 
god, that's really weird. Clean. You wash your hands. Nothing happened. Enough. Um, yeah. Totally. Alright. Bollocks. Pray. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do then. Mystify? He did something mysterious. Right, so is it recognizes it has more to learn from this world. Of. So cold. Um, let's spare it. Snowy. Well, that's depressing. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that. No, I'm doing quite the opposite, actually. Joke? You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression is such a shift. Haha, <laughs> I remember. Joke. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. Haha, <laughs> thank you. Oh god, I was gonna take a shower after this, but now I just don't wanna. You told a bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. Oh, that's nice. Nice and easy. <laughs> Alright. Perfect. Alright, now the door should be open. Now we're gonna figure out what the hell Alfie is doing down here. I am under the impression that Alfie's... That bed just moved. Yeah, how about no? <laughs> um... I'm under the impression that Alfie's accidentally created Flowey. And just like got the flowers from Asgore and Toriel. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. What the hell's this way then? Seems to be turned off. Seems to be turned off. Something in here. Alfie's, where you at, bro? Sis. It seems like it controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Yes. Hey, fellas. I was just, um... Not leaving? Ace. Hey, Ace, hey, stop! Alfie's, you... <laughs> I got you guys, guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled on the potato chips you had in the... You got some explaining to do, Alphys. The power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were the one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. 
As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. Uh -oh. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something. Cowardly. I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called the Termination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters, uh, bod monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take the concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon all the test subjects had melted into, into together into those. So those were the failed tests? Oh my god. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I have changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on. I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. <sighs> Including me? And Flowey. You, you prick. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before the others. Flowey. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder... What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Oh god. Tree number 18. The flower's gone. ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Gaddy, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. But who the fu- Gaddy, see you soon. Why? Who? What? Flower, you piece of shit.